How y'all doing today? Now, what we did here, I switched this to a series and I wanted to see how long we could actually run this uh, vacuum cleaner for. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do a series first. You uh, go from positive to negative from each solar panel to the other solar panel, connect those two together. My goofy butt ordered some and uh, then I realized, oh, heck, I can just connect them together. Ha ah, yeah, okay, we'll learn as we go. Then you come out with a negative and positive from each solar panel and you run it over to your, power, or to your uh, charge controller. Now, the thing is, I'm trying to run this vacuum cleaner constantly off of this. On everybody's calculations online, I should be able to run it without no problem because here's why. This thing is running at 35 volts is what I have written down anyways, and we're going to say 10 amps. Well, you times that and you get your wattage. So here's what we did. 35 times 10 equals 350 watts. In parallel circuit now, I had it hooked the other day and it wouldn't run, but an extra uh, 15 minutes, it was running 20 volts, 15 amps, 300 watts total. Now, so far, we ran this thing for four hours a day. I mean, and it's still the same setup. We got the charge controller, we got the deep cycle battery, and we have, and yes, that is a junk battery. And then we had the same 1,000 watt power inverter, and guess what? The same vacuum cleaner. Ignore the screen. I pulled it out because the cat was clawing on, didn't put it up in the closet. Got a little lazy there, apparently. But here's another thing. Let me flip this page here. The other day on series, the same setup we have right now, I was running 40 volts and 14 amps, which equal 560 watts. Thing that sucked is I did not have my uh, vacuum cleaner hooked up because I was charging the battery that day. So get off me. Maybe uh, the battery is pulling it down. Everything else is pulling us down. So I'm going to disconnect the solar panels here in a minute just for a split second to see if, or not the solar panel. I'm going to turn off the power. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the power inverter and see if it makes a difference. Actually, I'll do that right now. What am I thinking? Even though I'm doing runtime, it'll just be a couple seconds. Let's see. Turn it off. We're running pretty well about the same. And we're running about the same amps. So yeah. And we're over four hours right now. So let me kick that back on. So... Here in one or two seconds on this video, I'll add it in there at the end once this thing finally shuts down and see how long we actually run it for. Now, if y'all have any ideas, and somebody in my comments already threw it in there about hooking up a series, so I did, and guess what? It helped a lot, but I want to run this thing full tilt all the time, so I'm probably going to need to add another solar panel, and I probably need another deep cycle battery to be able to run it all the time. So I'm going to try to, and I'd like to be able to charge up the battery, but right now I'm just trying to run, period. The first, Like I said, the first time it would not run it on the parallel. So definitely do not connect it up in the parallel circuit because that is worthless. And we are down to, let's, let's see what our voltage is before I go to the next part. 11.6, 11.7. So yeah, just a few minutes ago, it did drop down to 11, or from 11.9 to 11.6. So it should be shutting off very soon here. But um, we'll get on with the rest of it. Okay, this has uh, run a total of five <coughs> hours. Might be a couple more minutes, but we just rounded off to five hours. But I want to show you all something else too. Uh, right now, the solar panels is with no sunshine. It's over the hill, not behind clouds or anything. We're running a total of 20 volts and zero amps. The weird thing is it actually charged up my battery. I have no idea how. So there y'all go. Y'all enjoy. Have a good day. See you on the next one. 